Welcome to Stop My Crisis. I'm your host, Vivian Gaspar. Do you know anyone struggling with fertility issues? They would love to have a baby. I'm so fortunate to have with us here today an expert in this area. Helen Denise is the CEO of Highland Life Products, Inc. She's a fertility advocate, author, speaker, actor, award winner, and entrepreneur. She is all about women's health and has the keys to improve fertility. She has put her research-based knowledge and skills to the service of a singular mission, to give women trying to conceive the ability to have the healthiest fertility cycles possible. She will help you understand your unique cycles while giving you tips on how to live a happier and more worry-free life. Helen, thank you so much for joining us here today because you are here to give so much more knowledge and hope to women everywhere who are looking to have a baby and have not been able to do it yet. Vivian, my pleasure. Thank you so much to have me here and I love it because this is a crisis and probably we have some solution and your viewers will be happy. You know, I'm not a doctor. I will talk normal language <laughs> and uh, they can understand that. And believe me, I will disclose information which I never, never find anywhere on the Google. That's what we want. We are here <laughs> today to give information that you just can't easily Google. Yes. Because we have, you have over 20 years experience in this field, right? Yes, who knew? Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> How big is this problem? I've been hearing that it's more and more uh, growing, this issue with fertility. What happened? Fertility, it's not an epidemic. It's a lack of knowledge. That's why when I'm talking, I want to educate women and disclose some things which I believe each woman should know because we can be our own doctor. Well, starting from a young age, you yeah. shouldn't just start knowing about this in your 30s or 40s. When should women get to know their bodies? Uh, you know, I'm from the last century. <laughs> <laughs> and if I knew what I now know and find out 20 years ago, believe me, my life will be different. And um, actually, my belief again, because I saw so many cases, stories, women, teenagers, my daughter was a teenager. So I believe it's 21st century. and. Stop guessing, you know, it exists. And the nature gave you the answer. And we, what, go back to nature. And the answer in your own saliva. Really? This How is what's going this? on. That's why if it's saliva, and if you educated when you're at school, you know, they gave condoms at school, you know that, yeah? Right. But why not to give my device so women, girls, I mean, start to understand their body cycles. It's so simple. That's why when I like uh, look at this particular field, I'm looking to educate young girls. I'm looking for women who should know what they should do if they want to plan pregnancy naturally. They say, look inside yourself, be your own boss, be your own doctor. That's why like, I believe it should start from early age. So what, I mean, how many really could help prevent teen pregnancy? Especially if you understand there's only how many days a month that you could be pregnant? When girls start to have first menstrual cycles, you know, it's very important to understand if everything okay. When she start really ovulating, and if in early age, I mean 15, 14, whatever, 13, in one year she cannot see her mom, ovulation cycle, it's already some norm, not normal things going on. I remember, I never forget, in 2005 I met a woman in Germany, and she was 23, and she couldn't conceive, and she had pain during the intercourse. And doctor told, do you know what? It could be treatable if you, in your early age, know and observe your ovulation cycles. Like, wow! It's mean for a girl to understand that she is okay, she is healthy. Five or six years ago, I, I was dreaming uh, to launch sexual education school. I still would like to have it. And I think in 2010, $150 million government gave for sexual education school. Is it exist? I don't believe so. But I was jumping on the car in Bloomberg in New York and now sexual education because at that time I was looking for private school who will start work with me and to give girls education and to see how it will work, to make like a standard, I mean, 
to exercise one program which can be implemented everywhere. I still believe someday it happened. You can create a standardized program. Yes, yeah. So when you're talking, I understand that if you understand your body, it can help you be healthier. Yeah. But right now, we'd like to really understand if you could educate our viewers exactly on how many days a month is it possible with understanding your ovulation cycle that you could become pregnant so um ovulation it's like it's like um women start to talk about this when they already have a trouble that they, they could not conceive this is customers who buy an ovulation test but um if women want to become pregnant it's a whole preparation, mental, physical. That's why I'm looking for natural family planning when a woman should understand her cycle. There's no standard. We all of us absolutely unique. Ovulation, the day when you can conceive, can be any time during the menstrual cycle. If you older than 27, you can ovulate once in 10 months. In 10 months? In 10 months. It means, you know, ovulation is a process, it's a cycle cycle it can be from six till nine days and we all different mission to understand women to know more about cycles about menstrual cycles about body about your own personal body well you need to understand your body so yes. you can have control whether you want to not have a baby right now yes because you want to use it for family planning exactly to avoid situations that might be a big problem in your life and might lead to this is how you can help lower the abortion rate so if oh, you yeah. <laughs> if you can help plan it better you don't even have to worry about that and oh, yeah. you can give a lot of hope to women who want to have a baby so we're going to take a little break and we'll be right back and talk a little bit more about how we can learn so much more and prevent yes <laughs> any further issues <laughs> hi i'm jim cullum a certified professional consulting hypnotist do you smoke? Would you like to stop? We all know the dangers of smoking and what it can do to you. Stop smoking now while you can and you have the opportunity. Call me or contact me at my website to see how you can be a non-smoker easily in one private two-hour session. I offer a guarantee to everyone who attends my program. Welcome back to Stop My Crisis. I'm here with Helen and she is explaining how her very unique technology and device can help lower the abortion rate. Helen, how is that possible? Uh, thank you for asking, swear God. Because you know, like uh, being in industry, fertility field for 20 years, helping women to conceive, when I hear women who try to avoid or stop uh, pregnancy abortion for me it's personal painful you know because I have so many stories when people putting their life marriages to make a baby and I know it's preventable it's preventable in many many ways that's why I wrote recently article about that that's why my product which I have it's part of solution for this problem what does mean so um, abortion I, I, I read statistic I was shocked uh, from 1969, government start officially calculate uh, like how many abortions in the U.S. happening. Mm -hmm. And that time it was about 700,000. Wow. That's yeah. A, from what period? It time? was not. Nine, in 1996. Oh, 1996. Do you know what was the last year? 41 million. 41 million, million abortions. Abortions. In, so and, and do you know amazing. what? Do you know what? One of the biggest states for uh, abortions is California. So abortions became forty one million, million abortions. Yeah. I saw the numbers. I was shocked. That's why I wrote the article. That's, I'm shocked too. I and have no idea. So I high. think that uh, abortions could be prevented in which way? If a woman uh, really care about her health and uh, like understand her body, you know, she can take control. A lot of women use I me, mean, like for example, I don't like birth control pills. I didn't like any kind of contraception. I had, I used a RISM method, you know, when you calculate. The method, yes. And when it's happened with me, I found that it's 27% failure rate. It's mean from 100 women, 
you know, 27 pregnant. got pregnant. And of those 27, and I think a lot yeah. of them want the abortion. And then what I the had, baby. yeah, and I had the I'm pregnancy in tubes because when you're 40, 1% of women had the same issue. And so, so this happened at 40 years old? Yeah, I, when I was 40 years old. So um, it means um, how it's preventable. You know, women can, it's a good habit, like I use my device for nine years, uh, to check ovulation, I mean, to check saliva each morning. That's it. And if you really care, you're afraid of any kind of contraception. By the way, all kind of contraception have a fa has a, a, any kind of them uh, have a failure rate. Those control pills, 9%. 9%. What about the operations? So if you have uh, tubal ligation, if you're a woman, because we're talking about women control right now. Yeah. You can't control someone else. Yeah. So what about pills? and? That's why I told That's you. That's the 9%. 9%. So and what about, about the, pills? The, um, the one you put in your arm or oh my the God. injections. Oh, my God. They have so many side effects. Listen, you I, can gain weight. And uh, it's not only weight. One of, I, I, I believe it's called Mirena yes. stick, it even can influence on your mental health. But wait, I thought the Mirena is an IUD. Um, they have a patch now. Oh, they have a patch. They have a lot of stuff they develop. They have so many things which influence not only overweight, it's influence uh, your uh, and create develop some other diseases and health issues. That's why cancer became too young. People don't know, and still not enough researches to show up why infertility became like bigger than it was 20, 30 years ago. But abortion, what, what I'm talking, listen, if you really care and you have fun to check saliva each morning <laughs> and you know where you are, you can avoid abortion. So you get I to understand say, abortion. Is a good day for sex or not yes, a good day for sex? Yes, exactly. You can have abortion if it's really a medical issue. Yes, agree. And uh, like, but again, you but know, if you prevent the it, pregnancy. It, it, it's yeah, but it can be. It's not be that high level of abortions. Believe me. That's why when I hear all the stories, listen. If you became pregnant, it's so many groups, associations, companies who want adoption. The family who looking to, for babies. It's mean like first of all, be educated, you know, understand your cycle, and in this case, definitely you decrease potential to have abortion for yourself, you know, and uh, like I don't know. So, I, uh, it, so what you're saying is. If you take the responsibility, and how long does it take to take the test in the morning for the saliva? How long okay, does it take? Okay, it's take one second. You put saliva, and you went for the shower or uh, making a cup of coffee, you can see the result. And that tells you this is yes. you know, uh, currently ovulating? Yeah. And so yeah. now if you're reading the information, and you know that if you're ovulating, don't have sex that day. Exactly. And that's it. And especially, it's not like, like, um, it's not like that day, because you can see whole cycle and you know dangerous day. For somebody who want to conceive, they have five days for conception, open intercourse, who don't want. They know this is days where they need to avoid open intercourse, you know. And any kind of contraception, UDs, pills, pages, so. they have a failure rate. That's why I always take a tell them that if you have something, why not to check saliva parallel? Well, it also gives, it's kind of like a backup method. Too. Exactly. So exactly. it gives a little exactly. bit more exactly. feeling of comfort to yes. know you have the knowledge as yeah. to what can happen. Yes, exactly. Knowledge this is always power. So in, the, in this age of all computers and scientific and technology, this is kind of like your body technology. Exactly. <laughs> We're going to take yeah. another break and learn more about how to use this body technology <laughs> okay. to be more informed in other ways. Roughly half of Americans are concerned about their financial well-being. Nearly a third of Americans have less than $10,000 in savings. Last year, 77% of taxpayers believe they benefited from using a professional tax preparer. Are you worried about your financial situation? It only takes one snowflake to cause an avalanche. Don't let taxes sneak up on you this season. Kendall Ludden, CPA, tax preparer and refund strategist. Welcome back to Stop My Crisis, and we're here learning how we can lower the abortion rate if you understand more using body technology with Helen and her very interesting, specific technology for saliva ovulation tests. What about the plan B? I mean, there's so much 
talk nowadays about abortion. Is it good? Is it bad? I mean, how horrible it is. Everybody agrees that it shouldn't even have to get to that level. If we could just avoid becoming pregnant when you don't want to be, then it's no longer an issue at all. So talk about, please, if you can, the Plan B pill. Uh, you know, like, I think that women uh, should be responsible for their sexual life. They should. And uh, like a couple years ago in Cosmopolitan, there was a big article about Plan B pills. That's why I wrote the article, do you want your daughter to use it? Nobody talking about side effects. And do you know what make me really angry? What's that? That they, the doctor who actually wrote the article or answered the questions, she told that it can be used anytime without any limitation. Can you imagine that you had intercourse I mean, sex, whatever it is, happened accidentally, <laughs> or, I mean, whatever happened. And at that time, you took this pill, which is actually, probably in this day, you even not ovulating. You, you could not conceive pregnant, but you take it because it's a fair, you're afraid, you know, and then you continue to destroy your body, really. Regular cycle, what, what pain the during effect? the sex. Why is it a negative? Uh, the side effect that, uh, we women, we have several hormones in a woman's body. This made us a woman. And if you took the chemical which put your hormone level in danger, for example, if you have imbalance because estrogen level, if you, if you have a problem in balance with estrogen, which produces ovulation, you killed it by this pill and chemical today, maybe this day you're not ovulating, you know, but you already disturb and destroy the level of this hormone. Do you know what, how many issues we have when it's hormone, estrogen, not working well? What can PCOS, happen? polycystic syndrome. Oh. You know, women not thinking about what will be tomorrow. I remember like 40 or 50 years ago when this birth control pill show up, it was like, oh my God, nuclear weapon. It's great, it's a solution. No, you see what's going on, cancer became younger, so do you think infertility increased. Did that cause cervical cancers it's, or it's, other types it's, of cancers? It's definitely not good for your body. And especially these pills, they, you can go in the pharmacy and buy. It costs 35 dollars $40, you know? And they are, they are the best seller on retail space. Yeah, the best seller. Not ovulation tests, they have only, most of them have urine strips tests which you need to buy. But these pills became the best seller. Actually, the product which you developed to destroy your body. And especially when somebody told, oh, you can use it anytime you want. So can you imagine four times you just put in something in your body? And then after that, in three years, you couldn't conceive. So you're wondering why after, when you don't want to get pregnant and you're using the Plan B pills just over just to think it's a good birth control method when it's not really for that purpose. And then you're going to say that it makes it more difficult to become deliberately exactly. pregnant, to That's, conceive a child. Then you, oh, why I couldn't conceive? Why I have this? Why I have this? Because it's not only like you couldn't conceive, it's other health issues show up too. That's why this is just, I think, um, a woman not responsible for what she's doing. And they're looking for one second solution. Is it good if she knows her cycle? And, it's not, and no, it's, listen, I know I can't become pregnant today. I enjoy sex or I don't want to have sex. Or it's even, you know what sex is? It should be enjoyable. It's a pleasure. And as usual, it's a couple. And most of our users, it's a couple who want to conceive or don't want to conceive. Sex should be enjoyable, you know? Well, that, no. that, that's why in this case, I remember myself, you know, when you also think, can I or not? I calculating. And honestly, millions of women worldwide each morning wake up and subconsciously or in their mind, is it a right day to day? Millions of women. But listen, nature gave you answer and the answer in your own saliva. This is what bothered me. You know, I wrote a big article about saliva for your health. DNA, DNA, um, uh, blood, uh, now they have uh, diabetes, um, then alcohol test, they're all saliva. 
Well, now we know, you know, that the secret <laughs> is to use saliva. Exactly, exactly. And that is what your product is all about. We're going to take another quick break and learn all about no when. No when. <laughs> I help people start their businesses or fine tune their businesses and I upgrade this business to one that I have fun in again. Welcome back to Stop My Crisis, and we love to innovate, especially when it empowers people. And when you empower women to control their bodies, it affects everyone, their families, their loved one, their husbands, and their children that they already have. So when you don't want to put stress on a family to have more children that have obviously a lot of expense to it, how does a small investment to understanding your body using your product help a family as a whole? Exactly. It's a couple and I know it's a solution that more people know then more couples will be happy and more couples will have healthy babies and in time they want. By the way, I want to uh, give you one statistics. In US, about 7 million women annually have a problem to conceive. 51% of them, they continue to uh, have treatment for sec uh, second year. But do you know that, that 65% of them absolutely healthy? And they so just had intercourse in wrong time? Or they don't need a treatment? So you're saying 65% yeah. of 7 million women, yeah. do you think they might end up spending yes. money that they don't have yes, easily for exactly. fertility treatments? Exactly. That's why when somebody start to read more on, online about IVF, uh, well, insemination, say, right? they should at first understand do they need it or not. We'll talk more about that. But the point is that actually this is a solution. And how different product, no when, no when, no when. So you know why, now you know when. How easy it, is it to take this test? Um, the easy is in your bedroom, you have my microscope, you open, you put a drop of saliva. That's it. That's it. Nothing else. That's it? It's yes. A little drop of saliva? Yes. Right there? Yes. And, and how long does it take to know the results? Um, Actually, it depends on temperature in the room. Sometimes 5 minutes, sometimes 15, 20. It means before you finish with, with your morning coffee, you can look and see what picture you have. Oh, That's it. So you get you could do it for as soon as you First wake up. Thing, yes. You take it, yes. you take a shower, yes. you get ready, yeah. you get dressed, yes. and before you leave yes. the house, you know. Yes. Yeah. It means the next morning you, you have know a win. Yes. <laughs> and you have clean clothes that. inside and you will clean by your own saliva and next morning you put your own saliva again. But do you know what? I developed six years ago app. When you bought our product, it's a unique number, millions of numbers we developed. You go online, you download your own app. Is it the ovulation? No yes, ovulation, fertility monitoring tracking app. And you have a pictures on your phone. And when you saw a picture, you click the button and it's gone app. And also you can put when you have intercourse, did you have orgasm, did you have a menstrual, amazing app. I developed it many years ago. So users have a free app, which is peace of mind. Look the picture, click, look tomorrow, click, that's it. That's Can you it. imagine? That's it. Well, Helen, this is amazing information. Thank you so much for inventing it and making it so easy to use and unique and so effective. You've already changed so many people's lives. And now, now that I know that is amazing, 41 million abortions. Yeah. yeah and yeah. how many of those could have been prevented if they just didn't get pregnant in the first place <laughs> by using this very easy oh my God. ovulation kit that teaches you to know when. That's why to know I when. try. I love the name, I it's fantastic. I try to reach as many women, millions of women as I can. Thank you for your program. I will continue to talk because you bought this product once, use forever. You know, it's clean. You not pee, it's where, your saliva. Okay, where can I buy it? Uh, I need to know. I, I love Target.com. They're my best customer. Target.com. Okay, great. So go to Target 
and uh, take a look, look her up, and it's Hylin uh, Industries. Noven Device. It's fantastic. Yeah, Noven Excellent. Device. Thank you so much for Thank you. changing people's lives to either prevent yeah. or to aid in pregnancy. Yeah. And that is how you stop your crisis.